Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I am sharing with you an extreme budget-friendly living room makeover. So in my last video, I shared with you guys that I had a project coming up for my sister-in-law and I was so excited to be able to pull this off for her. It turned out so good and it was extremely budget-friendly. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. To start off this project, I wanted to share with you another before clip so you could see what I was working with before I got started. Now, this project was kind of a surprise in a way, um, and I wanted to kind of give you a backstory so you could kind of get the full idea of what happened. So, Brie and I talked about redecorating her house for a while. Like, it's been probably like two years we've been talking about me helping her, but we just never did it because every time we go to visit, we're there just to visit and it's a short trip. So we don't really spend much time shopping or anything like that. Um, so I decided to kind of do this as a surprise. I did all the shopping here in Florida. And then on the weekend that we went to Georgia, I just brought everything with us. And that weekend happened to be a weekend where they were going away for a date night. So they went to the FSU game and while they were gone, my husband and I and the kids all stayed back and I worked on this project so that way it was somewhat of a surprise when they got home. Originally, I was gonna keep it a complete surprise from Brie. Tyler knew I was doing it and so did my father-in-law, but um, I was gonna completely surprise Brie. However, she put me on the spot. <laughs> we went to the store one day and she's like, hey, what made you decide to come this weekend? And I panicked and I ended up telling her that I had all the home decor in the back of the truck and I was doing a makeover, so she was so excited. Um, and I was super happy to get this project done for them. The budget for this project was 150 originally. However, I did end up spending 200. Um, I think it was just below $200 because I ended up finding a cubicle on Facebook marketplace. So I did a little research and I looked in the town where they live to see if I could find anything when we got there. And I happened to find a, a cubicle for $35 that not only will be used as a TV stand, but also bring in some more storage. So that way it's functional, um, but yet still pretty. So you'll see that a little bit later. And that is why I am storing the toys in these bins. All these bins came from Walmart. They are $9.88 a piece, but they are great. They hold a ton of stuff, um, and it just it ended up working out using the cubicle as the TV stand to kind of eliminate all those toys that were stacked up in those bins. Something that makes a huge difference in a space is containing a lot of like unnecessary clutter in the room. So there was a lot of electronics. My brother-in-law is really into games and he has like the VR set and, and like controllers and stuff like that. So to help kind of contain that stuff, I brought a lot of baskets with me to um, have on the shelf so that way all that stuff could be contained and out of sight, but still right there so that it's easy to access and all that. Cause this home does not have a lot of storage either. Um, trust me, I know that I lived here for many years and we did not have closets or anything like that. So having baskets is a great way to have storage that is not an eyesore at the same time. So um, here in this little white bin, I stored all of their electronics. However, later on, I decided to put all the electronics in the brown basket because it's a little bigger. Um, so I switched that around and then I put the DVDs in the white basket. Now, something about my sister-in-law is that she loves to read. She's really into books. Usually she reads on her little Kindle or on her phone, but um, she wants to start getting more books and she wants to fill the space, like make it look like a little library. So um, I told her to definitely start shopping secondhand for books because you can find so many at thrift stores. But in the meantime, I used the book she had as decor. So I just kind of separated things and added a few new smaller decor items to fill the little spaces. That way it looked a little bit more decorated.
All right, so this part right here was probably the most challenging out of the entire project, just trying to figure out how I wanted to style the shelves um, using the books and a few decor items that I brought, along with having the baskets to contain things. Trying to have that good balance was a little tricky, but I just did the best I could. I rearranged things until I had that moment of, okay, this looks great, let's just leave it for now. If we wanna change it later, we can. Um, but it took me a good hour and a half to get to um, this point right here. At this moment was whenever I felt like it looked the most balanced with the gaming system at the top. Um, so I did not mess with that. Number one, they were not there. Um, number two, the reason it's up there is to keep it away from the children so it's safe. <laughs> um, but I did recommend them getting that little strip that goes down the wall so you can hide all the cords. That would really just kind of help clean that up a little bit. But since I didn't have one with me, I just took a few um, pieces of electrical tape and taped around the cords. That way they were all tight and put together so it didn't look like a whole bunch of cords just hanging down. Um, but anyway, moving on, I am going to go ahead and move out this old TV stand and bring in that cubicle that I got from Facebook Marketplace for $35. Um, you'll see right away when I add that and put the TV back on top, it really just makes the room look taller because the TV sits up higher. It's amazing how if you put things up a little higher, they just it makes the whole room look bigger. Once I got the bins with the toys added in, you can see how it's all starting to kind of come together a little bit. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and move the chair out of the way. I will be rearranging in just a moment, but before I do that, I wanted to get the curtains up. Um, I actually brought two different ones with me. I brought white, and then I had the tan ones that I purchased from Ollie's. I shared this with you guys in the haul um, from last week's video. And I ended up using those because they turned out perfect. Like, what are the chances that they were like so perfect? I don't know. They just ended up being um, great quality. They were blackout, but still like soft. You know how sometimes blackout curtains can have that almost like shower curtain feel, if that makes like a plastic feel? These are so soft and almost feel like luxurious, but still super affordable. I got the curtain rod for $7.99 and each curtain panel for $79 as well, or $7.99 from Ollie's. If you have an Ollie's in your area, I highly recommend checking them out. At this point, I'm going to rearrange the furniture now and just try to make the space feel as big and open as possible. I started off by putting the bigger sofa over here just because I had to see what it looked like, um, but it was too big for this wall, so I ended up switching it with the love seat and um, then moving the black chair next to the couch on the other side, and that was, to me, the best layout for this particular living room. I've lived here before, so I know it's a little challenging with this space with sofas with the way that the kitchen is and the front door and the hallway. Um, it's just a little challenging to try to figure out the best layout, but in my opinion, this was the way that it looked the best and was felt the most open.
quick flashback to a few days before we made the trip. I was out thrift store shopping and I came across this table for $8. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed it. It just had a few scratches on the top. It needed, well, a few, <laughs> a lot. Had a lot of scratches on the top. Needed a good sanding down and then a quick little paint job. Um, but I wanted to mention the paint technique that I use is the exact same method that I did on my kitchen table. And I've done it a few times. I will have those videos linked below if you want a little bit more in depth tutorial on that. Um, but I'm just going to quickly get that paint job done. And then I also found a lamp base at a thrift store for $3. So I did a quick paint job on that as well. Um, just so I could keep it super affordable, but still bring in a few new items as well. So for the lamp, I used a matte river rock color. It's like a really light beige. Um, I went in with that first and then went back over that with the Rust-Oleum um, kind of like textured spray paint. It gives a stone look and I've used this on a lamp in my living room as well and I love the way it turned out. So I thought it would be perfect neutral for their living room. Um, so I went ahead and did that same paint job on this lamp as well. All right, so now back at their house, here's how that table and lamp turned out. And you can see it actually looks so good. Um, it matches perfectly with the cubicle that I got from Facebook Marketplace. So that was like a happy accident. I don't even know how that happened, <laughs> but it turned out perfect. Um, and then I wanted to hang up some family photos and I originally had the idea of using a shelf and then like staggering a few different sizes of frames. But because of the studs on the wall, it just didn't make sense. Like I couldn't get it... I couldn't get it. <laughs> um, I didn't have wall anchors and because this one stripped in the wall, it just was in the way and it was kind of like making the shelf kind of poke out a little bit. It's kind of hard to explain. It just didn't work. So I ended up just using two pictures of one of my niece and one of my nephew and I left the rest with them so they could add the shelf, you know, elsewhere and more photos if they wanted to just because I kind of ran out of time. All right, the best part of all the projects is the before and after. So here is a quick before of how the living room looked before I got started. And this is what it looks like now. All right, y'all, so that's pretty much it for today's video. It's not too bad for a $200 budget and a very short timeline, um, but I love how it turned out, and best part of all, they loved it, and that was what mattered most to me. I was, like, really stressed. <laughs> I was trying so hard to pull this off so that way they loved it, and unfortunately, I didn't get their initial reaction because I was sleeping. They didn't get home till I think it was, like, 1 in the morning, 1 or 2, um, because, like I said earlier, they went to that FSU game, but whenever they got back, she said she loved it so much, she wanted to come wake me up. Um, and I'm so happy that they loved it. I would love to hear what you think down below in the comments. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed and those notifications are on. Share this video with a friend. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, y'all. Look at the pretty flowers. And then just slowly reel it in. Okay? Can get it all the way out there. Good cows. <laughs> easy, easy! Woo! Dad, I caught a fish! Dad! Dad, I caught a fish! Dad, I caught a fish! Come here!
Smile! <laughs> Easy, it'll flap at you, it'll flap you and poke you, okay? <laughs>